right, you guys. So we're going to be going over um, Hess Law on our guided practice problem. So this is part two of the thermal chemistry packet. Now, so the first thing we want to do here is when we read the problem, we notice that we have to create a balanced chemical equation. We want to calculate the enthalpy for dinitrogen monoxide. So dinitrogen means two nitrogens and one oxygen reacting with nitrogen dioxide. So with nitrogen dioxide to form. So that means we're producing nitrogen monoxide. Okay. Now we just got to balance it out. We got one, two, three nitrogens, but only one here. So I'm going to put a three. Gives me three nitrogens. I have one plus two, that's three oxygens, and three here. We're good and solid, just one everywhere around. So remember, the goal is to find the delta H of this reaction, which is unknown. Let's see if I use a different color if that helps. All right, we are given these three reactions for us to work with. Okay. Make sure it's all nice and clean there. So the first thing I want to look is I want to look for my N2O. Remember, that is my goal. I want N2O. So as we look at the equations, N2O is on my third equation. So for my third equation, I need to divide it by two because I only want one of these. And that's all I have to do because N2O is in my reactant side, on my goal, and in this equation. So I'm just going to divide it by two. So that's going to give me N2O, N2, and this is all in gaseous state, plus one half of O2 gas. And my delta H value is going to be half of 163, and half of 163 is negative 81.6 kilojoules. All right, so now we're done with this one, and we're going to go to NO2. So NO2 is on my second equation, but you'll notice that it's on the product side. So that means I have to flip my second equation. So I'm going to reverse it. And I also have to divide it by 2. Okay. So when I divide this by 2, these go away, and I end up with NO2. produces NO plus one half O2. My delta H also flips, the negative now turns into a positive, and I divide that by two as well, and I get 56.55 kilojoules. And finally, for our product, I need three NOs. My NO is given to me in the first equation. I have two of them. But I want you to note that we also have another NO right here. Okay. Oh, sorry, NO right here in the product side as well. So this one could add up to the two that are given to us here. So my first equation, I'm going to leave as is, which is N2 plus O2 gives me 2 and O. And therefore, my delta H is equal to a positive 180.7 kilojoules. Now that we have this, we're going to cross out like terms and create our equations. So 1 half plus 1 half is 1, and that cancels out with that one. Okay. This N2 cancels out with this N2, and nothing else cancels out. So we get to write our equation. And we end up with N2O plus NO2 gives us 2 and 1, 3 and O's. And that's exactly what we were looking for. So the delta H of our reaction is going to be negative 81.6 plus 56.55 plus 180.7. All of this is in kilojoules. So the delta H of the reaction is equal to those added together, 
then we get a positive 155.65 kilojoules. This tells me that my reaction is endothermic. Endothermic. And endothermic means it absorbs energy. Okay. So this is number one.